Hello everybody, Trina here. Um, welcome to the live. Uh, I'm glad you're here. We're gonna make some prints today. Um, to those of you who are on the replay, welcome. Welcome to you as well. Today I'm gonna be making some jelly prints with some DIY um, tools that I've made. Um, I got this idea from looking at the actual jelly um, plate uh, YouTube channel. So this woman had this really cool idea to make some rollers almost, roller covers out of toilet paper. So I've taken some rubber bands and I've done some, some little punch stencils. I've got some lace patterns here. Um, this I just took um, my hot glue gun and did that little design there. And these are some weird little things called mod melts, which I don't even think they make anymore. Um, my aunt has a lovely habit of gifting me crafting supplies. So uh, I found these in a drawer. So I decided I would use them in there actually perfect for making stencils which is kind of cool yay anti so I made that one I've got this one with some dots of course we're doing some bubble wrap because that's kind of fun and this last one is sort of just a scribbly cover that I made um, also with those that those mod melts I made some of these little round stencils on plexiglass and let them dry. They were pretty well. Um, and I've used them, as you can tell, a lot. They hold up pretty well. They don't fall apart. Um, it's pretty thick stuff, so that's kind of fun. All right, let's get started. We're going to do some fun colors today. I've got some rose pink, some vermilion, this really cool color shift paint that I got from Folk Art. Some green and possibly some blue. So let's see what we can do. Let's start off with my favorite pink color. So we're gonna make about seven or eight prints today. And go from there. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. A little overcast here. That's kind of why I decided to play with some bright colors because I wanted to brighten up my day. Oh, I also have, I forgot this one. This is a spatula, a silicone spatula that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I just cut notches in it um, with a pair of scissors. So you can make these tools for really reasonable price. Um, I'm very frugal, as my friends will tell you. I don't like to spend money on things that I can make, and I like to make things, so. We'll see how this plate is kind of dirty. I used it earlier, so it should be good to go, though. I should have some, some good colors. Let's just quickly roll out some ink and get started playing. I don't think I want this too thick. That red is kind of taking over, isn't it? Let's add some more pink in. I'm going to try to keep my hand out of the way of the camera. So you want a pretty thin layer here. I want more of that. Ooh, that's such a bright pink. I want more. Maybe, maybe some green, actually. No, let's do the pink. I kind of like the pink. I want to see how this pink is going to come out. Ooh, let's get a new brayer. I did get some new brayers, some cheap ones. I'm really bad about cleaning my materials. It's a very, very bad curse that I developed in art school. 
just get new things all the time. Okay, so I think we're good. Now my covers, I'm gonna roll it out with this. My covers don't fit 100%, so it might be a little wonky. Let's see if it works. So this is the bubble wrap. Oh yeah, that's just gonna smear it. Okay, that's not working. Let's do this. Maybe this is better. I like the idea of rolling it out, but I think I got too much paint on there for this one. But it's kind of cool. It's picking it up. Eh, we'll make it work. Maybe it'll work better on the next one. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to plan on going live at least once a week. If there's a particular day that you might like to see me live. Usually probably Fridays around this time. It'll be kind of fun. Ooh, that's fun. Look at that. That's kind of fun. Not quite what I wanted to do, but still quite fun. That's fun. All right, should we do another print over it? Let's do a green. I like pink and green together. It's a very uh, 80s mod shot, 80s uh, preppy, preppy colors. Let's do, let's just take this and make some lines and see what we get. With that pink at the bottom, what do we wanna do? Green on top. Get my Baron out. Barons are nice. You could use the back of a wooden spoon if you needed to. Um, I had this one forever. As you can see, it's kind of beat up. Um, I think they sell them at Michael's and probably Hobby Lobby. You can definitely buy them on Amazon. They're probably around $15. Ooh, that was kind of fun. That kind of added some texture to it. Fun. Okay, let's do... that. I'm going to stick with just two colors this time. Let's see what happens if we just do that. I got way too much paint on there last time and I think I have way too much paint on now. It's, oh, that's not going to work. Scoop some of that off. I am new to the jelly printing. Um, well, new. I I went through a whole pack of Hunter paper in about a week because it's really fun to do. I really enjoy it. I love it when I find a new product that I really, really love. I am not getting paid to endorse their product by any stretch of the imagination. get this a little thinner. That's probably, that color is probably going to show up better on a, on a uh, okra or something. You might have to add some yellow or maybe some okra. Okay, so let's try this guy. Let's see what this guy has to do what his deal is. Okay. Yeah, this isn't working. The roller idea is not working. Uh, 
Oh, that's just not good. My whole plan. Oh, there it goes. I just need to push down a little bit. Oops, <laughs> I'm making a huge mess. Uh, fun, okay. I kind of did it right there. I think I need, the problem is that that roller is too small. It's the problem. I probably should have tested this before I went live. But now we can all learn together what not to do. I wonder. Well, that's kind of fun. It's kind of still neat. It's just not quite what I wanted it to be. I wonder if. What would happen? Nobody's watching. Maybe this. If I stuff some paper in there. Some scissors. Am I even going on? Is it even happening? It says it's working. Huh. I don't know what's going on. It says it's working. Why is it not working? What am I missing? What well, it says it's doing it? Um, we'll just keep going. I don't know if it's working. Or not. I don't know if this is working or not. It says it's working on here, but it's not showing up over there. So, um, I'm gonna keep going because. might be a replay only thing. That's all right. I'm going to keep going. I don't want to stop and try to troubleshoot. It says it's recording, so we'll see what happens. I have, uh, I was using a different streaming client before the last time I went live and I didn't like it because I couldn't reverse the camera to use my phone as a top facing with the front camera or the back camera. And it was really pixelated and awful and I didn't like it. So I thought I would try this other company which seemed to work on my test, but now I don't know that it's working. So we shall see. Okay, we're gonna try this. I put some paper in there It's working even less. Okay, that didn't work. But we're just going to go with it. We're just going to go for it. Maybe. Maybe I need to wrap it around this way. Maybe that's the problem. Very deep. Oh, maybe. Okay. Well, let's see if this works. Let's do this. I 
I do have other videos where I make jelly prints, so you want to check those out above. I'll leave the link for you on the replay. So you can, ooh, that's pretty. I like how subtle that is. It's just pink. I love it. Okay, it's just pink. Let's go with... I'm going to add in some of this. I know you guys are going to cringe at me when I do this. This is the gold okra, which I find is a very fascinating color. God, I keep putting so much pink comes out so fast. Oh, pink so fast. I'm just going to do these two colors for now. This might be a short video if I can't get my roller working here. Although I think I solved it. That's good variety right there. I mean, I guess we can play around with other things. We don't have to only do the roller prints. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I will try and respond. How do I go? I'm a little... like a messy plate okay let's try this so I put the paper around it this time let's see if this works get it good I don't think I don't know if the, my toilet paper my toilet paper rolls are rolling right well that didn't work but that's kind of fun <laughs> making a big old mess <sighs> okay I've given up on the roller I don't think that's gonna happen I need to figure that out before we try that again but we will soldier on and make some more prints and see if we can't like maybe it's the glue maybe the glue is too rough I don't know I think we made something really cool here though I like this really cool orange color. That's kind of fun. I think it needs some gold though. What do you think? Well, maybe just some of this, maybe just on top. Maybe a thin layer of this. This was an idea that I saw another um, woman using, and I'll leave it. I can't think of her name. She's awesome. She does. Uh, I have to go look her up. Robin McClendon, I want to say, is her name. She does some really, really cool prints. And it was her video that I saw first. Her and the uh, art excavator, archaeologist, art archaeologist. She's amazing too. You guys should definitely check her out. Ooh, look at that. Can you see? Ooh, pretty, shiny, neat. Okay, so let's, am I just gonna make pink papers? I might just make pink papers today. Oh my God, Trina, <sighs> you really need to use up the paint that you keep squishing out here. What is wrong?
going to add some bronze into this one. Let me think. Got a bit of that color shift left on there. I need to use less paint. I, that is a problem. This might be kind of fun. Let's try. Let's see what we get when we do this. I think this is the best way to use these. It's a little messier, but I think we're going to get something really cool. Also, I'm going to start showing you all. I'm going to start a new art journal. I've been wanting to do that for years. Um, so now that it's my slow season at my photography studio, I'm going to give that a try. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. That's really pretty. Is it shiny at all? Oh, it's, yeah. A little shiny there. That's really pretty. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I don't think it needs any more. Um, do I have any other pink? I've got a little bit of this color. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's kind of fun. What if I just like ooh, mix them together like that Maybe more of that color so so far I think the Lace was my favorite. Maybe this paint's old. It's leaving goobies everywhere. Maybe the bubble wrap. The bubble wrap was kind of fun. Also learned that you can layer right on the plate if you let it dry in between layers but I am probably way too impatient for that I'm just probably gonna pick up a little bit of that this is the brown and this is the oh, brush oh let's go with the bronze let's see what the bronze does There. Hey, I think I did it right. Okay, that's weird. Also, I, I need to remember that I don't have to press so hard. I've been pressing way too hard. Okay. Let's try... The rubber bands on this one. I'm gonna go Ooh, those are kind of like zebra printy. Is that all I want to do? I think that's all I want to do. I don't think I want it all over. Be a little bit there. See what we get. I wonder if I logged into the wrong stream. <laughs> Maybe that's why I can't see it. Ooh. 
That's kind of fun. Let's do... Let's do some of this color this time. Okay, I just want it like right there. And the reason I like this is because it's just a one-off. And it can be very intuitive and fun. And it doesn't have to be planned or scheduled. It can be very much anything you want it to be. was okay but I think I want to go back to the oh damn it, I keep getting more of that pink out of there sorry I didn't mean to swear there I need to remember there's a big splotch of pink over there with my name on it let's try I like these colors together I have to remember that these cra the craft the, I'm using two different consistencies consistencies of paint. So the craft paint is much thinner and doesn't take a lot, whereas the tube paint is a little thicker. Comes out slower. It's also very confusing. I think I want, let's do, I've been really into the metallics lately, it's kind of my jam, my jammy jam, well that just completely disappeared in that pink, boom, gone, okay, well, let's see, what haven't we done yet, did the rubber bands, Let's try this one. I don't want this one all over either. Ooh, that one's fun. Let's make it even. I'm just playing, 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 playing. So, although my little experiment did not work with the rolling, I think I'm still getting some fun stuff. Should have called this one pink metallic. So this one's probably out. That's probably not going to work. Ready? A little bit of gold in there, a little bit of gold flex. Um, what do you want to add in now? I think we need some, let's do some color shift. And some brushed metal. What happens when we put those two together? Oh God, you get that. So I'm gonna make a new color over there. I think this is gonna 
be pretty cool. I keep hitting my uh, camera tripod. That's what's making my camera arm. That's what's making that noise. Ding! Okay. I wish I could have some music on, but I don't want to get copyrighted, infringed. I usually listen to music when I'm working. Oh, that one's really cool. Look how pretty that is. That's really cool. Neat. Okay, let's do... What if we just started with this color? The bottom. Let's try the white on top or vanilla, the vanilla on top. This one's getting real grungy. I like when the plate gets grungy like this. Maybe just a little bit of pink. I kind of made a little Rothko look in there. It's kind of Rothko looking. Okay, do we want to add texture? Do you want to try this one? We'll try it down here. Now well, that doesn't really work, does it? It's kind of working. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay. So this paper I'm using is just a all-purpose multimedia drawing paper that I bought for, I think, $4 at Hobby Lobby for 60 pages. So it's nothing fabulous. It doesn't need to be. Um, if I were making one of these for a client, I would definitely use some arches, some of my arches paper. But just for practice and play, I don't mind using the cheap paper. And it's also not thick. Oh, that's really, that's actually really cool. It's actually, um, not so thick that you can't use it for collage. Should I put some of this on here? I think I feel like I want to do like just right on the paper. It's a little more pink. Right through there. Just need a little something something. But that's kind of fun. Okay. Well, I guess we better use up all the rest of this pink. Let's put it out on the palette. I really like that brown color. If we did a mixture, we'll get crazy. You can, those are almost the same color. One's just a little.
crazy over here. I like the idea of using patterns, especially if you're gonna make collage papers. It makes a lot of sense. I don't use a lot of pattern in my own work. I guess this is my own work, but like I don't use a lot of stencils in my paintings. But what I found is that I work as a mixed media artist in so many different mediums that for me, they all have their place. They can intermingle, they can, you know, oh, I totally forgot to put a pattern on them. They can coexist. And I do that sometimes, but there are certain things like I don't, if I'm working in cold wax, I don't use stencils. If I'm working on an acrylic piece, on a board, I don't use stencils. I do draw into my work, both on the computer and with pencil. That did not come out right. No, well, it's not too bad. That brown just sort of faded. Not bad. Use another color though, don't you think? You put any with green? Maybe some of this gold. Needs something up there at the top. The little baron. Boom. But I'm really liking these sparkly colors. This morning I did, before I made the roller glue rolls, I uh, worked on some other prints that I have scanned into the computer. And so I'm going to, uh, somebody asked me if I sold any of the papers as sets. So I think I'm going to embark on that little fun project this weekend. They will be, I made 12, so I'm thinking digital download 12 for $10, and those should be up. I need to figure out where I'm going to sell them. I think I'm going to sell them on my website, which is trinabaker.net, and I have an art shop there where I sell my work in digital form as well as print form. Lots of fun stuff up there in the shop. So be on the lookout for that. If you are in, if you like these papers and want to, let's put a pattern in there. Let's, let's put the lace back on. So what happens if we put some of that on? Well, that's almost the perfect consistency right there. I don't like it all over. I like it kind of just sort of in there. I always get the idea that I'm making graffiti walls when I'm doing this. Ooh, maybe I should do a whole series of graffiti poles. I wonder how to pull that off. That one's really nice. This is what always happens with the jelly plate too. You start off to do a few and then the plate gets really good. And so you just keep going. I think we're gonna do one more. I liked how that bronze reacted there. Let's put some copper in the middle. I like that color combination. That was good. And let's add in some pink because we got extra pink over here. That we need 
these up. And hopefully this is gonna be available somewhere. I don't think it recorded live. And I feel really sad about that, but I will definitely post about that. So make sure you've liked and subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it on the next attempt when I try to go live. <laughs> Which could be this glitchy. The directions for, there are, I found miscellaneous directions on how to do it, so. We do what we do, and when we know better, we do better. You always gotta listen to Miss Maya, because Maya knows best, Miss Angelou. Okay. Ooh. So pretty. Look at that. That's really fun. I like those metallics. The metallics on the bottom seem to work better than putting them over colors. So what have we made here? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. We might as well make one more. Even ten. Let's do... And we'll have a whole nother set of collage prints. For your art journals. And if you guys have any cool tutorials about art journals, leave them in the comments because... I mean, I'm planning on doing it. I just, uh, I mean, I guess I could just start doing it. That's probably what everybody does, right? Look at us being bad, mixing our, mixing our golds and bronzies and silvers. Ooh, this one's, this one might be kind of fun, actually. So let's, we got some more pink over here. I kind of like how that pink is. Let's add, let's just make this one really shiny. That's the last one. So let's make it really shiny. Let's just add in all the shine. What, what stencil shall we make? Okay, I can't really see the chat there. Love and live. But I know. Awesome. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, my phone, I can't really see the chat, which is why I was hoping it would show up over there, but it didn't. So um, I will respond to you because otherwise I'm going to have to turn off the camera. It looks like your question is about yours didn't turn out right. Um, well, all I have to say about that is it takes a lot of practice and a lot of watching videos. Like I said, maybe earlier, you did, I, uh, I went through probably about 60 sheets of this paper before, I don't know, it's probably about 20 sheets before I even got anything that I liked. Um, another thing that you should know is that when the plate is brand new, it doesn't, it tends to not take paint as well as when it, after you use it for a while, once it gets baked in, it works better. Um, and even when you clean it, you know, the next time you come back to print, it's going to take a couple of pulls to get where you're going. So like this was the last one that we did, but if you look at this first one, you can see a definite difference. Like this one isn't nearly as layered as this one. Um, and that's partly because of it was clean when I started. Um, the other thing too is that you have to remember, which was a really hard thing for me being 
um, an acrylic painter, you have to remember to put the paint on pretty thin. Otherwise, you get, oh, look what I did there. You get, uh, won't release from the plate. So it needs to be pretty thin. This one is amazing. Let's do another one of those. I like that combination. One more. I keep saying one more. We're going to be here all day. <laughs> Let's add in some of that color shift. I'll do it in three spots. And really, it's all about play. So um, I can go more into that further if you'd like. Um, but keep tuning in for the live. So every Friday at 2 o'clock, um, I'm going to be on here. And I'm going to do gel jelly prints. Um, I'm going to make that jelly print Friday kind of thing happen. And we're just going to come in here and make prints. Well, I'm going to come in here and make prints. And hopefully, you guys are making prints as well. So we can do it together. Um, so I'll try to keep sharing information. Um, like I said, I've not been doing this very long, but I do enjoy it. So I will continue to do more of these and I'll try to keep them more instructional too. I know I can get off on tangents and babble about things that probably nobody but me cares about, but we're all here to learn, and I will teach you what I can. There are tons of other um, channels as well that I got good information from. Um, Robin McClendon is one. The Art Excavator is another one. And I'll leave a link um, to those comments below so that we can uh, you can check it out. Those women are awesome. That's where I learned most of what I was doing. I have a problem that though, when I get into something, I just get obsessed and I just sort of go for it. And the best, the best thing is though, you just have to have fun and do something different. Don't be afraid to fail because there's no failure in art. Like these aren't masterpieces. You can, it's just play and fun. Remember how fun it was when you were a kid to like just lay on the floor and color for hours on a piece of paper and you didn't know what you were doing. Nobody told you that how to color, you just colored. It's the same thing we're doing here. We're just coloring. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, so we've made, how many we've made? Let's count how many we've made. I think I've made, if I've made 11, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we need to make one more because I've made, 11 so we need to have oh god that's way too much we need to have 12 for the pack that's kind of fun see this is fun i didn't i never thought to just what if we just did that oh that's a little too messy i don't really like it But good to know. I could just whip out my little. Let's add. I'm not going to add that in yet. I'm just going to print this with. I like the rubber bands. bands were fun. Okay. This will be our last one. My intent was to make eight and now I'm making 12, but that's okay. 
will just be more to add to the shop this weekend. And then you guys can all like make videos with your papers and tag me in it and we can all share. Ooh, that's really pretty. Need some gold though. Don't you think? I can need some gold. It's a little boring there through the middle. That's way too much. Way too much paint. Okay, that's way too much. So if you get way too much, you can always take it off. I don't like wasting paint, but I also don't want my print to be. Oh, another thing you can do too, is that if you have too much, you know, if you have a little too much on there, you can always just take your brayer and put it on another print. That's acceptable too. Don't be afraid to scrape that paint off if it's too much. Okay, let's put this down here. They want it everywhere. Another thing I've learned is that if you just sort of press the paper where you want it, you can get some really cool lines if you don't have to put it doesn't have to always be flat so you can make something like that where you have a line going down the middle and then you can also if you want and I'm gonna do it on this one I think I'm just gonna use this print get the rest of that paint up That's kind of fun. Are we done with this one? I feel like it, I feel like it's done. Okay. Well, thank you all for coming to my live. Um, I will see you next Friday at two o'clock. If there is a specific topic about jelly printing that you want, um, Make sure to comment on my community tab and I'll def or below this video and I'll make sure to answer it a good time and uh, figure things out together. So don't be afraid to ask questions and I will see you in the next one um, and have a good weekend. Bye.